to the traditional custodians of the land that we walk upon, past, present and future elders. May I take you on a journey, a journey of the landscape, a canvas of many nations, diverse in language, ceremonial song and instruments used over the generations. Ideas born, not just yesterday, but an unbroken line that carries forward the notion that we are temporary, yet part of something significant and enduring. Such a notion reflects that all countries and all peoples began as an original and indigenous cultures, which continue to this moment. It is born in the respect and acknowledgement of the cultures and the customs from all places in the world. Underscoring that journey is the origin of music of each culture and its people that hold their customs, story and identity. Where did that sound come from? Where did that rhythm come from? Where did that song and language come from? Where do we come from? So I take you back to my mother country where the lullaby of my ancestors echo through the hills. The rocky outcrops and the spinifex grass flowing into the small creeks and the rivers and the waterholes of knowledge. of the petrichor which radiates the natural oils of the earthly rocks after the rainfall. Such a memory, memories then seep into the river flow of life, back into the trees while around the campfire in the night. The burning ambers dance into the night sky with shooting stars. To remind us we are human, we are a symphony, a symphony of stars in the universe. These are memories and these are contours and shapes, a multi-spectrum of colour, light, vibration, spiritual ancestral flow and energy. A world of sound from many creatures, the wind, the leaves, the dust, forever creating its own path and creating the chanting of our people. The anthills reaching into the horizon of the new day born. The red, pink and deep hues help inform the canvas of my musical world. The symphony of the earth symphony of our existence. Growing up in the rugged beauty of the Argilla and Selwyn Ranges of far northwestern Queensland, my hometown, Mount Isa, the heart of Kalfadunga country. I listened to my elders always in awe in their presence. I listen to the music around me, from Slim Dusty to ACDC, 
to Metallica, Ingray Malstein, the Valley Four Seasons. To the Irish, the Scottish, the Welsh, friends of the Mount of the Folk Club, once a fortnight. There was a musical canvas forming, transformed by the shades of colour, the blurring of shapes and forms. Encouraged and energised the musical harmony and humanity in the sharing of creative space. It would soon become a realisation drawn from a growing body of experiences and collaborations rising out of the many paths ventured and tampered with opportunities and challenges. I was on a quest to find meaning and to develop my voice to share that meaning with others. At the very pure and organic heart of the Australian landscape, we too have our own symphonies of this land. An existence etched into the song lines of our ancestors and our bloodlines which course through the veins of the rivers and the waterways. Whether it's dry or full, that riverbed, the spirit still remains. It's up to us to connect with country and become in tune and sing it up. My musical path and quest was and still, quite simply, the possibilities. The possibilities from before my first orchestral concert as a 17-year-old. What if we weave the ceremonial and musical origins of one of the world's oldest cultures with the tradition of the Western classical world and modern orchestra? Interpreting, yet still having a grassroots connection to the lullaby of our land, the Australian landscape, the natural sounds of the Australian landscape, and the coastal shorelines, heard through the stylistic writing of classical composers, creating bird-like sounds through certain harmonic and slide techniques, the sound of buzzing near the mangroves, the travelling song of melodies and rhythms, resemble that sense of an open space as we know it, the feeling. Now we add that, that foreign instrument into that space, or perhaps it's the other way around really. We are inviting and adapting the modern Western orchestra into the landscape of Australia, which has already existed for many thousands of years. Our song lines have always been our connection. Yes, the didgeridoo, the yudaki, our tribal instrument of this land, used as a solo instrument. Used as a solo instrument, the heartbeat to guide the songs of our ceremony from virtuosic technique and sometimes just simply and powerful utterances. Take this powerful instrument into the new world and introduce it to the new most possibilities of music through national musical orchestras and chamber music scores. While at the same time finding new ways to pay homage and dedication to our mother earth and our mother country. Exploring sometimes foreign landscapes through the works of many great composers bolstered further by the many amazing instrumentalists, women and men who carry these stories of their folklore through song, dance, paintings, words, language and identity. Calling on our respective oral histories as we establish collaborations on the stage with the blending of cultural symphonies by the language we speak traditional musical and ceremonial instruments. We continue to breathe life into our essential lullaby. 
the wisdom of our elders, the pinnacle of truth, honesty and identity. We become part of the engine room, the engine room of change, where there is opportunity to express ourselves freely and connect with humanity in its purest form of music. As a young child, there was diversity in my hometown, Mount Isa, but there was a certain tension in the air. Music and culture was the pathway for me, chosen by my elders, and perhaps my mother, Auntie Delmay Barton. Playing classical to me, to, to me before I was born into this world. My mother's journey, a very special person, who still to this day carries her lullaby with her wherever she travels. From reciting her special poems within the Vatican of, of Mary McKillop's canonization, or singing in minus 40 degrees in southern Ontario, Kettle Point to our natural amphitheaters of Australian bushland. All of these experiences helped open my mind to the different styles of music. Opened my heart to humanity. Similarly, this reflected in the strong connection with Veronique Saray in a Heartland project. Exploring the direct connection to her instrument, the violin, voice, and the didgeridoo. Listening to the land is really special. I love my work and I say thank you to all the people who have journeyed on this path with me, generously sharing their, themselves and their knowledge and wisdom. I remember when I first heard my uncle, I was spellbound and you know, it was magical. I knew in that moment I wanted to be a part of that mystery, part of that magic. I still am. And I wish, to spare, I wish to share some of that special magic with you all right here, right now. With a piece called Ditch Fusion. And I'd like to welcome up to the stage in a few moments my mum, Auntie Dummy Barton. As I talk about this piece, it's a piece that encompasses the elements of the Australian landscape and my journey from Mount Isa to where I am now and the language that I sing within the work I wrote when I was 15 years old, representing, I guess, my language and the importance of how important it is to uh, teach language in schools today.
Wow.